Hi, David. I have your bowhead here. Um, uh, let's talk about the numbers first, and you can see what I'm seeing. It is messy, and it is a wreck. Um, it is having major problems with... Uh, Palafork is having all kinds of problems. It's incredibly out of adjustment. I mean, the fact that this was in someone else's shop, and these are the kind of numbers, and this is the kind of adjustment we're seeing, uh, along with all the other things as well, it's it's not good. Um, the first thing that greeted me when I opened the back was a hair. Uh, you can actually still see it. It's right here. There's your little hair. That's what I saw the moment I walked. At, I looked at it. The movement is filthy. It is filthy, uh, and it is not happy. When I see bad numbers like this, and I see the condition of the movement, and then I see that someone's been working on it who doesn't really know what they're doing, it does not bode well for the restoration. The movement is not happy. It's not a happy movement. It's dirty, and uh, I, I'm based on how the hands are set. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to find. I'm, I'd be sh shocked that if the jewel in the chronograph bridge for the underneath the chronograph wheel hasn't been pushed out of place, because that is what happens. Uh, hang on. Okay, here's your watch. It started life as um, a quite decent brown bullhead. The hour and the minute hands here, those are original to the watch. And then the chronograph hands here, those are also, those are originals. So this watch was probably just, whoops, basically in need of a service and maybe some love. Um, before this other person got their hands on it, it is now, um, pardon me, it's now far rougher than it would have been. This is at the zero setting. You can see the hand doesn't align. These are bad hands anyway. He didn't get this stuff set. These, in resetting, these don't move at all. I, I have no idea what I would find in there. You know, it's... It's unfortunate because the blacks are nice. I mean, the black bullheads are cool and everything, but people really do look for the browns. And this was worn, but it was original. I don't know. Um, it, when a watch is in this kind of condition and when it's been abused, I hesitate to take jobs like this. The reason that I hesitate to take jobs like this is that they are going to take... When a watch is in this condition and it's been worked on by somebody who shouldn't be working on these things... And they're putting up, they're putting stuff together without the correct parts, without the correct tools. I mean, these are supposed to be assembled with a movement holder, just like this. If they don't have that movement holder, it can jack up the whole movement. Um, so honestly, I, I rarely take watches that have been abused like this because they take so much more time to bring back to life. And then you bring them back to life and they're still, they're never quite the same. Um, especially when that jewel gets pushed out because what happens then is that the gear train slips out of alignment and the, the whole mainspring will unwind and one go whoop, and then it's like then you get all kinds of problems with the gear teeth and it's just it's this cascade it becomes a real problem we could potentially talk about it but it's going to be there's going to be extra time there would be a, an extra time labor hourly labor on top of my flat fee because it's going to take me a lot more time to bring this one back uh, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. I really am. Um, by the way, I, this you had included this crystal. I don't know what this is for. It's not for any watch that I'm aware of. It certainly won't fit into this watch. So I don't know what that is, but it's nothing that I can use. I don't know. You're going to have to make a decision about what you want. Me, personally, again, I don't work with aftermarket parts ever for any any reason if I can possibly avoid it. I always try to keep watches original. So like these hands, this stuff, that's a non-starter. 
I, I can't do anything with them and they're already basically sort of ruined especially this one because it's been set incorrectly that can never be reused it's just it's junk so you're going to need to decide about what you want to do uh, if it were my watch um i would try to put it back into what it was before and that's possible i might be able to do that but again there's going to be extra time for the there's going to be extra time and i don't even know how much for trying to bring this thing back from the abuse that the that the movement suffered so i guess you need to decide about what's important to you me personally i would i always suggest in a situation like this is to try to buy original um rather than try to convert one thing into something else convert a brown into black find a good black to start with and go that direction um i don't know you tell me Okay, I'm sorry. I wish I had better news for you. Okay, bye-bye.